Hey guys, welcome to Coffee with the Crazy Wig Lady. Okay, we're gonna have fun today. First of all, I want to thank you for everyone that participated in our giveaway. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I got so many great messages, private messages. Uh, it was overwhelming. I, I just wanna tell you, thank you so much. That was a beautiful necklace that Linda from the Course of the Jewel Lady provided. Uh, we gave it away. It's off in the mail to the winner. And so thank you so much. And stay tuned because next week I'm going to tell you about another great giveaway coming up. So first of all, <laughs> I'm off work today and I took the day to catch up on a ton of wig reviews. That's why I got a full face of makeup. You know, I don't wear this kind of makeup on the daily. But I've had a lot of questions, you know, as what do I wear when I'm on camera for my on camera reviews. And so I'm just going to show you a couple of things. This isn't it all because... You don't have time for me to tell you the whole thing. So I have on for lashes, what I had told you about before. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They work great. They really are my favorite. I sometimes vary and try something else, but I'd say 98% of the time. I come back to these, they're inexpensive. I can buy them when Ulta has them on sale, buy one, get one half price, I load up on them. Because as I told you before, I don't re reuse my lashes. I peel them off, I throw them in the trash. So I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on them. So that's the lashes I have on. The eye makeup I have on is what I had showed you before, the Milani Soft and Sultry. I just can't, I, I just go back to it. It is a go-to. You can see I've hit pan already on a couple. I have a backup. I gave this away in a giveaway. It's a great daytime look. You can make a great evening look. You just can't go wrong with Milani Soft and Sultry, I don't think. Now for an eyeliner, I love this NYX Epic Ink Liner. Anywhere they sell this, I'm sure they have it. I have it in brown, I have it in black, I think it comes in blue, I'm not sure. But after I put my lashes on, I will line over the band of the lash with this. You'll never see the band. This is a nice product as well, inexpensive. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about bronzers. I, today, have on two shades of bronzer. Normally I don't, but for uh, filming I do. I use a darker one, a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Everybody knows about it, right? This is the dark one, the darker one, and I use it for a contour. It's very inexpensive. And then I top it off with another one. Now, this is high end. I told you before, I love high end. I love drugstore. I mix them up. I love them both. This is Charlotte Tilbury. This is her airbrush bronzer. It is fabulous. Now, it's expensive, yes. Uh, do I think it's worth it? Yes, and I don't say that about everything that's high-end. There are some high-end things I've bought. I think that was a total waste of my money. <laughs> this, I don't think that about, and I'll tell you why. You get a lot for your money. You get this huge pan of bronzer. This is the number one. It comes in several shades. I have it in one and two. Today, this is one. I use that butter bronzer as a contour, and I use this on top of it as a blush, as a um, bronzer highlighter. Now, like I said, this is a lot of product. That's why I think it's worth the money. This I like this also, that you can pop that out from this little hole when you're finished with it and put a refill in here. So yes, it's expensive, but yes, I think in this case, it is worth the money. That's just my opinion. I think it's a lovely, beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Okay, the next thing, someone asked me, how do I travel with my wigs? That's a great question. How I travel with my wigs is very simple. I have seen uh, some beautiful videos. People have talked about different things they carry their wigs in. It's so nice. I put mine in a Ziploc bag. And you know, I'm particular with my hair now. So let me tell you what I do. I take my wig, I turn it inside out, I put a hair net over it. Now I do that because I want it to be really tight. I want all the hair contained in that hair net. And then I put it in a Ziploc. And at that time, see that has a hair net, so there's not a lot of hair, it's not creating friction. I put it in a Ziploc bag. I usually can put two in one. And I do not seal it all the way. I don't want any, any chance of any moisture or anything getting, you know, I just want to leave some air circulating. So I zip it almost all the way just to hold it in there. And then I lay it either in my carry-on or my suitcase. And I have done this for years and years and I have never had one issue. Then when I get to wherever I'm going, I will take it out and turn it and shake it and hang it in the closet 
You know, they have those hangers that usually have a clip on them for pants and I'll hang it in the closet. So I'm sure I've scared many housekeeping people <laughs> when they come into my closet and there's hair hanging in there. But also, if I'm gonna be gone for a while and I've got a lot of wigs, I'll take one of these collapsible stands. This comes apart, they lay flat. I'll throw a few of these in my suitcase and I'll, when I get there, I will put it together and put my hair on it and line it up on the dresser. Again, probably a lot of conversation with housekeeping when they see all my wigs out there. But y'all know, I don't care. I, I love wigs, I love talking about wigs, obviously. And so I love to show my wigs. I love to take care of my wigs. And when I travel, I like to wear, if I'm gonna be gone for a week or so, I'm gonna have probably a different wig for every day. So I travel with them a lot and that's how I do them. I may have three or four bags of hair and I've just never had any issues uh, traveling with them this way. That's just my way. That was a great question. So thank you so much. Okay, now my other thing was, I got a question about what are some just throw on and go styles. Another great question. Um, and I have lots, but I'm gonna narrow it down to three because I don't wanna keep you all day. I'm, I know, I'm too chatty. All right, first of all, I cannot talk about throw on and go if I don't tell you about John Renault Mariska. This is in 12 FS8. Wow, it's hard to beat Mariska. I've had it in lots of colors. Beautiful cap, just a gorgeous John Renault style. Throw, get it out of the box, throw it on, and you're out the door. Love that one. Uh, Ellen Villa Elite, you know, if you've seen my channel, you know I review a lot of Ellen Villa styles. They fit me really well. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference, and I find these wigs fit me very well. I understand they're petite to average, so if you have a larger head size, that might not work for you, but they fit me very well, and that's one of the reasons I love them so much. This one is Elite and Ginger Rooted. I have it Sandy Bond Rooted, I'm not sure, uh, several, several colors. Uh, nice cap, mono part, lace front, open wefted, out of the box bob. This is a little longer if you're looking for something not a pixie. I think I'll do some, uh, maybe my favorite bo my favorite bobs, my favorite pixies coming up, but I'm today's just what's good to throw on and go. This is the one. And then my last one that I think is so fun. My daughter likes this wig. She always say, where's your purple hair? So <laughs> this is John Renault Victoria in Flurry. And I, you've seen me wear it a lot. I have it on. It's a fun fashion color. Uh, it's not so over the top though. So I think it's age appropriate. It's also beautiful, beautiful cap and a fun color, really is fun. I have found myself wearing this so much. Today I reviewed the new Aesthetica Designs Smoky Rose. Now, if you've been wanting to find, to try a pink, a fashion color, you might look at that one. It's not over the top. It's very wearable. It's a very wearable pink. I think I posted a uh, picture on Instagram already wearing that in a, when I was reviewing it today. So check that out. Okay, guys, that's what I got for today. Thanks so much for joining me again on Coffee with the Crazy Wig Lady. Don't miss next week. We are going to have another giveaway, so I'm gonna tell you all about it next week. It's gonna be great, and I'll tell you the rules of how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it a little differently, and uh, I look forward to that. Again, thank you so much. I just love these few minutes that we have together, and I appreciate your support and watching and commenting and leave me some questions. Let's talk about anything. Leave me some more questions down below what you're interested in so I can get ideas what we can do. Thanks again. I'll see you next week and have a great week.